now from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. <laughs> oh my God! We're talking about Bob Stoffel, our engineer, who put away seven pounds worth of omelet. That's a lot of. Omelet. It is a lot of like, omelet. Okay, that weighs that weighed more than I was than I was when I was born. Right. Five pounds. I mean, did you really? Yeah. Oh my goodness, Bob! Bob is eating seven pounds worth of omelet. I mean, have you ever? You probably Tessa have not even eaten seven pounds of omelets in your life. I'm I've guessing. I've only had one omelet in my life, and that was the omelet that Papa made like three days ago. Oh, that's right, that's right. Because I made an excellent omelet over the weekend, but it was not seven pounds. All right, we're, we're looking at our MCF construction camera. Can you point out the traffic there, Tessa? Uh, I-69, that's right. Now, you've got to reach way over there to show the Lloyd Expressway. You've got to do some walking. You can't just stand here. Yes, you've got to do some walking. There, there you go. Almost there you go. That's the Lloyd Expressway. Can you point out the flag there? Uh, can you, you got to look close. There you go. That's right. It's fluttering in the breeze right there. Love that. Uh, we got a wind out there to go along with this humidity. That makes it a lot easier. Okay, this is downtown. Okay, now you and Nani, are, you're staying with Nani downtown, right? That's where she lives. Okay, I'm going to step aside. You're going to step back a little bit. I want you to point out the building where the LST right. is behind. That's right. Hopefully. <laughs> you said it like five times. You're going to walk down there and find, you be the reporter today. I want you to walk down there and find out to make sure that there is still an LST 325, which is offering free tours all weekend, by the way, behind that Tropicana building, okay? okay. All right, let's step forward. Here we go. More work for you. Yeah. Don't, don't kick back and relax just yet. Could you tell us basically what the temperature is right now and point it out? Okay. Come on this way, this way. <laughs> there you go. Okay, what, what's the temperature now? Um, it's 79, 79 degrees. Now point out the wind. The wind's pretty cool, too. Look at that. East. That's right, east, northeast. There you go. Uh, 70 degree yeah, dew point. No, you didn't know that? That's on the compass. I'm going to have Pappy tell you about all, or is it Poppy or Pappy? Papa. Papa. Papa, he's Poppy, going to tell you. what? I used to, we had a, my great uncle, we called him Pap, Pappy. Uh, anyway, uh, but so I get used to saying that. Anyway, he, I'm going to have him get a compass on his phone and show you just different directions. A compass? Yeah, you don't know that? It's a compass, <laughs> not a compass. Uh, all right. Well, down south in Kentucky, we say compass. Oh, my God. All right. Well, I want you to, all right, enough of me. <laughs> Point out some temperatures here. Um, uh, what's 81 in Carmi? Show us Carmi right there and give us a Carmi's few other temperatures. all the way over here. All right. Give us a couple of other temperatures, other cities. Um, um. Which ones? How about Mama down in, in your, oh, Nani's Calhoun's mom? Calhoun's right down here. There, Calhoun. 78 degrees. 78. And why don't you point out Jasper? Can you find Jasper? It's yeah, pretty close to I you. I know it. You don't have to walk that far. There you go. Jasper is 76. 76. There you go. All right. Now, wind speeds. Find the biggest wind speed you can find. We've got to search through all these cities. There are all, most of them are double uh, digits I see now. It. It's Vincent's. Vincent's, that's right. 16 mile per hour wind, 15 miles an hour in Owensboro. Now we're starting to see a few showers popping up. Can you point out a little green and yellow on the map right there? Well, um, it's behind me over here. No, <laughs> a lot of it is. But we've got a few showers. I'm putting in the most. It's a one hour loop. Can you see? Look just There's out on the other side of right, Calhoun. Right over there. Yeah, we've got a few showers that are starting to pop up. And they're moving in an odd direction. Usually we get rain that moves in from the west and goes to the east. These are moving in from the west and pushing to the east because there's an area of low pressure. And I want you to point out Memphis, Tennessee, because that's pretty much where that low is centered. Memphis is right. Gonna walk it. There you go. Look at that. You're good. Did you get an A in geography? Yes. Uh, we don't have grades. Oh, okay. Wow, that's good. Good for you, boy. I could have used that when I was a kid, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got an up, upper low. And basically that counterclockwise flow is basically meaning that we're seeing these showers kind of pop it up to our east and they're pulling to the west. And we've got that chance for a few showers over the course of the afternoon. Now, what are you and Nani doing this afternoon? Oh, we're going to vacation Bible school. At 4 o'clock, will you be there? 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, okay, let me, let me advance it a little bit more. Here's 6 o'clock. Look at that. Now, the showers are really widely scattered. And, of course, now also downtown, not far from where you're staying, we've got First Friday in Evansville. And so that's kind of a big deal, too. And it looks like just a few spotty showers out there. Not too bad. Friday after 5 in Owensboro is a really big deal, too. Not a problem. Relay for life going on in Henderson. You came on a really popular weekend, Tessa. I don't Tessa. know what any of that is. No, you, that's okay. Nani will fill you in later on. Or maybe Pap. <laughs> Papa. Papa. Pap. Why Pap? I call him George. All right, here we go. We're going to kind of roll through the weekend here. Scattered showers and thunder showers. The best chance is going to be in the afternoon, really each day, and it's going to be kind of warm. Look at all those clouds. I mean, that's, that that's is a, a lot of clouds. Yeah, a lot of clouds, but that's okay. Look at that. Now, that, that looks like one of the better chances for rain we've got uh -huh. will be tomorrow late afternoon when you guys are probably, what are you going to do on Saturday? Probably 
vacation Bible school. Wow, okay, it's all weekend long. Okay, so you got a long weekend. And on Sunday, we have breakfast. Oh, that sounds good. With um, the VBS people. Is Pap going to be there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, how much rain for Evansville real fast before we get the uh, forecast? Uh, 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 point, little, 3.5. No. Point 0.35, that works. Yeah. That's a third of yeah. an inch, so that's over the next couple of days. All right. I'm not good with decimals, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. All right, read the forecast. Here we go. Uh, clouds and some sun, scattered showers. It's breezy and humid, sadly. Yes, I know. I agree. Highs could be in the low 80s, though. That's not too bad. Yeah. And east wind at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. I thought it was east-northeast. Well, it is now, but it's going to be basically an east wind throughout the rest of the day. That's the forecast. We did the currents earlier. Now look at those temperature highs. are going to be in the 80s. But point out next week when it gets less humid... Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Read those highs real fast. Uh, the high on Monday is 78. The high on Tuesday is 77. The high on Wednesday is 78. And the high on Thursday is 75. Very good. It's a chance of spring, but they're pretty small. So once we get past this weekend, it's looking pretty good. Great. Why don't you say we have more lifestyles coming up right after this? We have more lifestyles right after this. Life <laughs>